Hi there, welcome back to the Cosmic Classroom. We'll now talk about the expansion of the, of the universe, a very fascinating object. So Edwin Hubble observed that galaxies that are far away from us are, seem to be moving away from us. The further away they are, the faster they are moving away from us. So he measured distances to many galaxies and he measured the speeds of these galaxies, how fast those galaxies were moving away from us. And he made a plot, like this one. This plot shows the distance from us to many galaxies, to galaxies, all right? So the distance from us to galaxies, and the velocity that they are, these galaxies are moving away from us. So a galaxy that's nearby is moving away from us at about, 10,000 um, kilometers per second, while a, ga a galaxy that is further is moving much faster than that. Hubble was a smart man. When he saw this, actually, let me skip that one. When he saw this, he, so he wondered, well, why do objects further away travel away from us faster? And he thought about it, but he was... He was smart enough that he figured it out right away what was happening. He figured it out that that was a, a signal of the expansion of the universe. Now, when I look at this plot, it doesn't come to me naturally. Oh, yeah, the universe is expanding, right? So let's try to understand why is it that such a plot tells us about the expansion of the universe. So let's imagine a rubber band. And there's a rubber band with four stars on top of it. Now, before I move any further. These four stars are there because my PowerPoint allows me to make four stars. They should be four galaxies. Stars are not moving away from each other due to the expansion of the universe. So even though they look like stars, they are galaxies in there. So there's a rubber band with uh, stars on top of that rubber band, like so stars in this rubber band. And after a certain amount of time, that rubber band expands, all right? It becomes bigger. So you can just get a rubber band and expand, you'll see the whole thing getting bigger. Well, when, they get, when the rubber band gets bigger, the stars get further apart. And then we can put a ruler in between those two rubber bands. And let's measure how much each galaxy has moved. So we can see that the blue galaxy has moved about one in these units, right? The yellow galaxy has moved two in whatever units those are, inches maybe. And the galaxy number three has moved more than three units, right? So with respect to red, blue was the closest one and it moved a little bit. It moved a little bit. Yellow was the next closest one, and it moved more. Green was the furthest, the furthest galaxy, and it, moved, and it moved the most. Now, the rubber band took a certain amount of time to expand. The green had to travel a much larger distance in the same time that the blue had to travel a smaller distance. Therefore, the green travels faster, a greater distance, in the same time that the blue travels, right? And you can do that again with respect to some other galaxy. So let's say we don't want to use the red galaxy now. Let's say we keep the blue galaxy in the same position, and let's see how much have the other galaxies moved with respect to blue. So the yellow galaxy has moved from here to there, a little bit more than one unit. The red, the red one has moved from here to there, about one unit. And the green one has moved from about three and a half to six, so has moved the most. So the conclusion is again the same. This, the galaxies that were closer to blue seem to move slower away from blue than the galaxy that is further from blue which seems to be moving the fastest, all right? 
So how fast the galaxies are moving depends on where are they being observed from and the distance between this object and the ones that are moving away. So someone living in the red galaxy will see all of the other galaxies moving away from it. And the further ones will be moving faster. But there's nothing special about this red galaxy. Observers in the blue galaxy also see everything moving away from them. Also see the, all the other galaxies moving away from them. And also sees that the closest ones move less than the furthest ones. So regardless of your choice of which galaxy you will leave, you will always see galaxies moving away from you. Now, what has happened to the rubber band? The rubber band has expanded. And the space between each one of those galaxies has expanded. All right. So that's why Hubble realized right away that this plot is evidence for the expansion of the universe. And that any observer in any galaxy would see the same plot, would see the same relationship. Another way to try to visualize that is if you were to imagine the universe as it is, as it was a certain time ago. So imagine a universe as it was a certain time ago, and I call this position here our home galaxy, and then there are all these galaxies far away from us. Now I will expand this universe, okay? I'll, I'll grow the space between, all, between each galaxy. And the universe becomes bigger now. So the universe now has more space between the galaxies than it used to have in the past. Right. Now, you can go with the ruler and measure the distance between home and the galaxy that's close, and the distance between home and the galaxy that's furthest away, and compare that with, with the distances now. And you'll see that the galaxy that's furthest away had to move more in that same amount of time. Therefore, it had a greater velocity. All right? And you can do this exercise choosing any other galaxy as home. And you'll see that from any galaxy, the, uh, everything seems to be moving away. So in summary, if we look at galaxies far away from our galaxy, they seem to all be moving away from us. An observer in any galaxy would see the same thing, and that's a signature of the expansion of the universe, signature of the fact that space between galaxies is growing. Please do not confuse that with the space between stars. Stars are so close together inside a galaxy that gravity is much stronger than this expansion of the universe. So galaxies are moving away from each other, but at a very small scale, stars remain together in a galaxy. And even galaxies that are nearby, they remain together because gravity is pulling them together. The expansion is trying to pull, pull, pull them apart, but gravity is keeping them together. Okay. And this is it for the expansion of the universe. I hope it helped, and I suggest that you try yourself with a ruler, and notice that the, signal of, uh, the signature of expansion is the same, regardless of where you are. I'll see you next time.